Mom is in Control, episode 311. Okay, guys, I'm back. We have day three of the 12 days of mothering. I hope you are starting or already continuing your journey to live a counterintuitive life. That this time of year does not need to burn you out. You don't need to feel exhausted, chaotic, and more importantly, you don't need to wait until the new year to create change. So today is one of my favorite universal laws that govern our lives. And I kind of gave you a hint yesterday. This is the law of action. So we're going to be talking about the law of action. I'm going to tell you a story about how um, my life completely changed when I figured out this law and how I think some of us are getting stuck here. Before I do that, I have a friendly reminder for you. I actually have two friendly reminders for you. Um, The Stronger Than You Think t-shirt campaign is still going. So if you'd like to purchase a t-shirt, we have free shipping right now. You can ship um, to Canada and the U.S. Just head on over to my website at Heather Chauvin, last name spelled C-H. A-U-V-I-N dot com. We have shirts for adults, men, women, uh, children, and babies. We have three different designs, more self-love, stronger than you think, and take a stand. This campaign, 100% of the proceeds go directly towards um, educating children and teens on the power of their mind. This is a mental wellness campaign. So this isn't about crisis intervention. This is about teaching the next generation that they are stronger than they think. But in order to do that, we as adults need to practice what we preach and definitely show them the way. So head on over to heatherchauvin.com and purchase your t-shirt today. Another little announcement is my next Time and Energy Intensive is Saturday, January 5th. You can head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash intensive to check out more about that uh, program as well. Okay, so how many of you are into personal development? And when you started figuring out personal development, you might have heard of the law of attraction right? That one I'll be talking about in a few days. So I remember back in the day, I watched the video, The Law of Attraction, and they have books as well. And what I found out was this, you know, this concept was you can attract anything that you want in your life. Well, I wasn't very mindful. I didn't understand, you know, the power of our thoughts and intention. And so my illusion was, Just close my eyes and meditate and anything will happen. But the truth is, there was one main missing ingredient that I believe that movie and that whole concept forgot, which was the law of action. In order to get what we want in life, we have to take the action. So according to the law of action, you need to take action steps towards your wants in order to manifest them. An example of the law of action in natural motion is when a person gets angry and slams the door. The person is feeling angry, so he, she acts. Action is to slam the door to show that they are angry. Even if the person doesn't want to be angry, he, she supports the emotion by action. So, The point is, why do we slam doors, right? Why do we yell? Why do we put on um, a grumpy face? Why do we do certain things? It's because we want to express how we are feeling. So the law of action dictates that we will act on how we feel. But I want to kind of put another spin on it, that in order to manifest what we truly desire... We have to act. So many women that I talk to say, I want more money so that I can get out of debt, so that I can, you know, feel, find that freedom. Everyone wants freedom, right? We want emotional freedom. We want financial freedom. We want time freedom. We want to feel free and spacious in our relationships. 
and yet sometimes we don't act. And if you don't act, you're not going to get what you want. So this is my thought on this. Uh, you probably heard me say this before if you've been listening to me for a little while. Action is where the magic happens. Too often, I think we want to talk about our problems. I think we want to dwell on the strategy. I think we want to sit in the planning phases. All of that stuff is, quote unquote, easy. Having a plan or a blueprint for how to create something, that's the easy part. And I remember when I started out, you know, your mind will play tricks on you. And I would start to plan, 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 and you have all the perfect planners and the markers and stickers and, oh, you even have like five different day planners. And yet here you are not attracting anything that you desire. What is that? Why? Because we're not acting. We're not taking the specific daily actions needed to manifest what we desire. Because the law of action tells you that momentum will happen. But if you don't actually believe in yourself, if you don't believe that you're worthy of manifesting what you truly desire in your life, you won't take the action needed. And then this is where the culture of busy comes in. Busying ourselves with actions that do not lead us to where we want to go. Example, you want to feel better in your body. You know what you need to do. You need to eat healthier. You need to work out. You need to move your body. You buy the workout clothes. You buy a program. You purchase all of the food. You get the memberships. And then what? That's like stage one action. But the real magic The real magic happens on the other side of that. The real magic happens in the discomfort of this action. So my kind of mental note to myself is if I am uncomfortable while I'm taking this action, then I must be headed in the right direction. I literally watch and observe my body react. And it's quite interesting. I want to eat. I want to do all of these crazy things. And I'm like, why, why is my body stressed out when I just need to take this action? But it's, you're pushing through that threshold. You're pushing through that resistance, that discomfort. And on the other side of that, that is where your desire is going to manifest. I remember when I started this, I have lots of stories about (laughs) the law of action, Um, but one was when I wanted to find this personal emotional freedom, I didn't, I didn't know where to start. And so I started looking around at people and thinking, well, they're happy. They look happy. So I'm going to do what they do. And I remember um, going to this cafe one time. And I thought, okay, I'm going to sit in this cafe by myself. I'm going to get a really expensive overpriced latte and um, a journal. And I'm just going to sit here and write. And, you know, I don't even think Instagram was a big thing then. But if it was, this would have been a perfect opportunity to pin a, a picture perfect Instagram post. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm sitting there and... I just start crying. Like, I just start weeping. And I'm like, I am so incredibly uncomfortable. So I was sitting there by myself. I remember one of my kids, I don't know if it was my second or third, and I was just like postpartum, not that long, and I was really, 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 really struggling. And I just, I sat there, and I'm like, okay, I've taken the action, I've created some space for myself, and this is so fucking uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. So I sat there and I didn't write. I just cried, 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 cried. And I kept doing that. I kept doing things that made me uncomfortable. I kept doing things that not necessarily didn't feel good at first. It didn't feel like it was in alignment with how I wanted to feel because I wanted to feel free 
and I wanted to feel happy and I wanted to feel energized and excited. And I didn't necessarily feel that way, but I had to go through that discomfort. So too often in our lives, we're actually avoiding taking action because of the discomfort because we think, oh, well, if I'm, if I'm comfortable, then that means I'm headed in the right direction. But the truth is growth happens when we are uncomfortable all the time. That's why they call them growing pains. Think about any phase of growth. It is extremely uncomfortable. Your children come into this world. They are birthed through a body. That's not comfortable. They get their first teeth. It's busting through some gums. It's uncomfortable. There's so many examples of how nature is uncomfortable when growth happens. Think about it. So the law of action shows that action is where the magic happens. But in order to get there, you have to take the action and you have to do the work. Jesus. Remember that cat I told you about yesterday? He just lunged at me, getting a little cray cray. Maybe he's part monkey or something. So understand that you might not want to wake up early. Do it anyways. You might not want to say no to everybody and sleep for longer. Do it anyways. Do the complete opposite of what you desire to do. So if you're like, Heather, sleep is not my issue. I sleep way too much. Sleep is my drug. Then choose to do the opposite. Choose to say yes to something that makes you uncomfortable. Sleep yet. Sleep less if you're finding yourself sleeping a lot. And if you're finding yourself exhausted and you're neglecting your sleep, maybe you just had a baby or there's something going on, then say no to everything and get as much sleep as you possibly can. And if that's not working for you, maybe you're trying out a Reiki session for the first time. Maybe you're joining a group. Maybe you're going for a walk by yourself. Whatever it is, do the uncomfortable action. Because the law of action, the nature, right? It's nature. The universal law of action tells you. According to this law, you need to take action steps towards your wants in order to manifest them. It's that easy. So what's one thing that you are going to do today or this holiday season That is so far out your comfort zone. But by taking this action, you will be more in alignment with how you want to feel. This is how people go from complete exhaustion to feeling fully energized. Every day we have to constantly reassess, how do I feel today? What can I do to be more in alignment? And then all of a sudden, you look around at everybody else that are struggling, and you say, guys, it doesn't have to be that way. And the ones that are ready to hear it will listen. Thank you guys so much for listening to me on these 12 days of mothering. You do have control, but you got to take the action. And if you're ready and you want to dive deeper, then let me know. Head on over to heatherchauvin.com forward slash intensive. January 5th, Saturday, January 5th, we have a four-hour intensive where I'm going to show you the specific action steps that you need to take to have more time and energy in your life. This is the energetic time management process. If you're not sure if this program is for you, fill out the application anyways and post your questions and I will be in touch. And if you can't show up for yourself show up for your children. 